Hello, good morning guys. Welcome to a new video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Robin Shindelka and here I talk about everything related to mindfulness, spirituality and our way to recovery and a happy life. I am very grateful that you are here today and I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I'm right now standing in my garden, it's 7 a.m. Um, and I'm doing my little morning routine, but it's uh, pretty cold. But my foot is fractured from a running injury, so I'm actually <laughs> grounding, which is so good for your physical and mental health. I'm giving my toes a little treatment, and I am going to get dressed and then make a really good video for you guys. So keep watching. Okay, so I'm not gonna take you guys any longer away from the essence of this video um, because of course that's the reason why you clicked on it. I just first want to say that I'm so incredibly grateful as a small YouTuber to be getting so many lovely messages from all of you, uh, especially this, this week, uh, <laughs> like out of the blue. I got so many comments, I got so many messages on Instagram of people saying, how much they are enjoying my videos, how much they can relate to what I uh, share with you um, for my experiences with DPDR for the most part, but also with depression, anxiety and eating disorder. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. I'm really happy that I made the choice to start this channel to help you. And I can't wait to meet more of you. So please don't ever doubt to send me a message or to add me on Instagram or to comment below. Um, because this really motivates me to keep making these videos as a very small <laughs> YouTuber in a big ocean <laughs> of YouTubers. Um, so just thank you. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a very important insight that has helped me recover both from DPDR, uh, so depersonalization, derealization and anxiety that came with it and um, eating disorder. So my eating disorder was uh, about uh, bulimia. So I had um, binge, binge eating uh, cravings. So I used to have these huge cravings to eat a lot, uh, like, yeah, to binge eat. And even though these are two completely different things, um, I got an insight this week that showed me that the way out of both of them is exactly the same as is the way out of any mental struggle, any mental suffering like depression or anxiety or whatever you're experiencing. The out way out of this struggle is to understand one principle. And this is not a clickbait video. This is not just like, oh yeah, right, there's one thing. No, this is really the truth. And this really is what helped me get out of both of them. So I'm not gonna stretch it any longer. The thing I mean is resistance. Not that resistance is the way out, but actually resistance is what is keeping you stuck in your situation. And let me explain this by, um, by explaining it in reference to both my anxiety and both my eating disorder. So in case of the anxiety and DPDR, um, what, the reason why I was having anxiety attacks and why I was experiencing depersonalization was because I was resisting something. I resist. I was resisting the fact that we die, that we don't know why we are here as humans. I was resisting the fact that I was experiencing this feeling in the first place. So I was resisting the anxiety. And basically, I was just resisting everything because derealization really feels like the world is not the way it's supposed to be. Like the, 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 the things you're experiencing is are not the way it's supposed to be. So your automatic response is to start fighting it to start creating a lot of resistance and this was the same for my cravings in uh, binge eating so i was experiencing a really big urge a crave to start eating and my brain was saying this is not okay you have to resist that urge but what do you say when you say yeah the urge cannot be here the need for food cannot be here then you actually say well then you have to satisfy it because this urge in itself cannot be here 
And that's why you start eating. That's because you create the resistance of not eating, of saying this urge cannot be here. And that is why you start your binge. So I don't know if this makes sense to any of you who have never experienced this before. Um, but just think of any mental thing that you are experiencing and try to realize the resistance that is behind it. Um, and for me, in both my binge eating and my DPDR, this realization, this insight was so completely transformative because once you learn that the resistance towards the feeling is actually what is keeping you stuck in the same cycle, then you can start to change it. And how can we then change it? By the opposite of resistance, which is complete acceptance. And so by accepting the feeling that you are experiencing, by allowing it to be in this moment, you then stop your automatic, your, or your automatic response, whether that is anxiety attack or complete fighting against the, deep, the DPDR you're feeling or binge eating. Because let's say you're having a moment when you're experiencing depersonalization, which is cr really scary and you feel like, what is happening? It, this feeling is coming up. You, you say, oh my God, am I, am I not real? What is happening? And you fight it. That's why it feels so bad because you say, I'm, ex I'm feeling something which isn't supposed to be. So you fight it. You say this cannot be here, but it is here. So you're fighting against yourself. And this creates so much stress that you're going in a cycle. So you're going to get more angry, more scary thoughts. You're going to get more depersonalized because your body's trying to protect you. So it's dissociating. Um, and that is why you come in an anxiety attack or in, in a heavy derealization de uh, episode. And so when you're experiencing this, and this is what I always tell my co coaching clients as well, the first thing you need to do is completely accept because the feeling is already there. The thought is already there. By saying that it shouldn't be there, it, you won't make it go away. You will only make it worse. So the first thing you need to do is just completely accept it into this moment. Same when you're experiencing a binge urge. So for the people who are watching that experience binge eating or uh, bulimia, when you're experiencing this urge, you feel like it's taking you over completely. You feel like, oh my God, I can't stop this. This urge is too big. I need to satisfy it. The same as with the DPDR, sit still and just accept that you have this urge and realize that you are not the urge. This actually has to do a lot with your brain. Comment below if you want me to do a full episode on how to stop binge eating. Um, I, yeah, so I can explain a whole video about that. But um, you allow the urge to be. You allow the feeling that you're experiencing to just be. And when you accept that and you say, I am allowed to have this urge. This urge can be here for as long as it wants. You then embrace it. And this creates so much peace, so much comfort that the, the urge can then go away. You will see that when you start to accept it, the urge will actually go away. And this is the thing that our ego tells us. It says, no, if I accept it and I, I allow it and then it will go even worse, it will get even crazier. But that's not the case. The reason why we, we act on the binge is because we say the urge can be here. It needs to be satisfied. But when we say the urge can be here, you can just accept it into this moment. And you don't have to satisfy it because the urge in itself is allowed to be here. Then you actually tackle the... Yeah, it's the, to not act on the on the on the trigger on the on the urge. So, I just want to say that the solution out of every mental problem that we are having, out of every struggle, every challenge, is to accept. And accepting does not mean that you are weak. Does not mean that people can just mess around with you. <laughs> no, no, that's not what it is. Accepting means actually taking control over your feeling. Accepting means I accept that I can't control what is happening, but I accept, but I take control over the way I feel about it. And that control is actually the best control we can ever have because in both binge eating as in depersonalization, all we are kind of looking for is control. We want to control the th circumstances that we're having. We want to control what is happening to us. Um, because we want to feel good. So that's what is behind this. But if you can't control the circumstance or even sometimes the feeling you're experiencing, 
you can control what you respond to it. You can control what your reaction is and you can control it by accepting it. And this for me was such a crucial insight and actually what got me out of both recovery, uh, both DPDR as binge eating uh, and anxiety as well. So I hope you guys had something, took some, something from this video um, so that you can yeah start your own recovery and really stop chasing the cycle of resisting, resisting and then staying in the same pattern over and over again. So I wanted to share this insight with you guys today. I hope you took something out of it. Uh, I want you to know that you're always welcome on this channel and that you're always welcome to react or to um, suggest a, a, video, a, a video topic that you would like me to do. I really am here for you guys. Um, I feel like we're kind of in a community or something because I'm getting so much messages and so many lovely response and I feel very blessed and very not responsible but kind of like yeah I don't know I ju I'm just happy to be in this community with you guys even though it's scary and even though it feels not so pleasant uh, from time to time this really is a great learning experience for you and for me as well um, so just stick around and let's help each other out so that we can all make the transformation from experiencing um, mental struggles to experiencing spiritual enlightenment and peace and warmth and happiness, just uh, like I did, like I found. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Uh, have a great yeah, rest of your day. Uh, try to really um, try to really practice the things that I tell you because you can watch this video and you can say, oh, okay, I'm going to do that, but it's easy to forget. So watch this video again and write it down so that you don't forget. Put it on your phone to accept in instead of resist. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.